Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, so this is a continuation of the last one. So from the last episode, um, I was uh, deep cultivating this field. Uh, since then, the uh, wife uh, finished plowing that one. And I got her straight on the uh, T-dub with the uh, big disc harrow. Or disc and she's disc to this field up nicely so this field now is ready for planting um, uh, this field has been plowed and I deep cultivated it because what I'll do is this season this field would be plowed then just uh, deep cultivated then this field next year will be plowed and deep cultivated and then this one would be deep cultivated and disked. You get what I mean? So yeah, that one's ready to be planted. That one's ready to be planted, but I can't plant at the minute because uh, the ground temperature needs to be around 5 degrees Celsius and it's only at 3 degrees at the minute. So uh, I had a phone call from the shop earlier because they know I'm looking for a few pieces of equipment said um, they're having a sale on of some sort so did I want to go down and have a look they got a few pieces on display but a load of it's at their backyard ready to you can order it so I was gonna go down and have a look see if anything we needed um, one thing I'm looking for is a roller for the grass fields um, but yeah, that's John Deere 6210. I sent it, had to send it back because the rent was too much. Uh, or the lease, I, the lease run out, not the rent was too much, the lease run out on it. I only rented it for two days. Um, so the, that's gone back to the shop, so I'm just down to the T dub now. Um, so yeah, so we're just going to jump in the uh, truck here. And just go down to the shop now and have a have a browse at what they've got on offer. So yeah. So I got I think I've purchased uh, a small grass field. Um, Which is in between the two sheds, really. Uh, well, Dad's down at Dad's down in his massey with the old trailer on, doing some wood clearing by looks of it. I'll probably go and give him a hand later. I think I know what he's doing. I think he's taking a few of the trees out so we can extend this little field. That little massey looks lush on that little trailer. So yeah, so these trees are going. That'll be extended. Then we've got this field here. So you've got two grass fields, two crop fields. The old park. Just going through the little village. Oh, hello. Why don't we get out here, boys? How much parking space in there? So I might just put it on the road. Just gonna have a gander. Yeah, this is TH White's the dealers. Now, why don't we get over here? This is a I think it's a sixty one seventy. Cause I can't quite tell because the load is in the way. Yeah, sixty one seventy R. Yeah, that's a nice tractor with that loader on. 
a bale spike on the front of there. Got GPS. Nice three point. Nice. You might have to see what they want for that. Then look at this puppy over here. This would be some pennies now, I reckon. The 85.30. Nice interior. Got the front hydraulics, that's good. It's pretty clean, to be fair. Very little work, I reckon. I reckon it's a demo track. Nice three point. Class Axion 870. Let's jump over the John Deere, shall we? That's a nice track as well. Well, that's got some ponies. I reckon that's brand new. But yeah, that's nice. Oh, baby. 9230 case IH axial that we crawl the tracks. You did say they did have a combine, but the header is too big for the yard, so they've left it at the other place. Um, but it's a 42 foot head. Beacon antenna, grain tank. Straw swather. Nice long pipe. Very clean machine. I think he said that's new. You can shut up. <gasps> Ooh, nice Vaderstadt Cedar. Six meter, I think you said this one. I think you said that's new as well, so. But yeah, that's a nice little cedar. <gasps> oh my god. Class Quadrant 3200 Rolo Cut. This might have to come up with me. That's a nice bailer. Nice and clean. I think he said that's brand new as well, but I think he said it's just sitting there taking up stock space. Oh, you can touch it. Auto collector. Yeah, it's just sat here collecting dust. I think he said so. He's they're willing to let it go. <gasps> that's what I came here to look at. Is the roller. It's got the uh, it's a teeth. Uh, got two teeth on it. Sevilla. Pretty good, pretty good. Might have to take that home, boys. Yeah. First spinner. Ooh, might have to take that home as well. Coon Axis. Oh, big side edge trailer. That's a Joss skin. Too big for what I want. But this though, a bra a brahan mega high speed. Hmm, pretty pretty slick. Again, I think it's brand new, but just take it out of space because people go for more this size of stuff, not this size. So, but size of my farm is that'd be perfect. So, what that, 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 and a deer at the front. Then, do I like, but yeah, nothing there. Ooh, corn planter, Bosch corn planter, Bosch maestro. Pretty slick. Nice big six bottom. Six bottom reverse. Ooh. Amazon K Rock 200. Hmm. And the play we've got, the play we've got now is pretty decent to be fair. 
So the main things I want is that roller on a track. Because I don't really have anything to mow grass mow yet. And maybe a fruit spinner. So that, that, and the tracker. I might pop in to see him, see what he wants. So hey guys, I just popped in to see the uh, salesman. He said he'd do me a deal, so I just got to come and check the bank balance. Feeling much I can borrow. Because he said he'd do me the tractor, the roller, front loader on the tractor, that's the same as a package, the roller and the first spinner for a hundred uh, and twenty thou or hundred around that hundred and twenty mark so uh, hmm Don't really need the bucket though, because I got that bucket on the Massey. That'll fit on this. Yeah, that Massey bucket fits. So that'll be a that's a thousand pounds. Thousand fifteen hundred all. I reckon I could do it for hundred nineteen. Or hundred fifteen, I reckon. Let me go see. Hey guys, yeah, just finished doing some negotiations. Um, well, in my pocket now, I've got uh, the keys to a uh, John Deere 6170 and the ownership rights of that roller there, and that first spinner there. He did me a deal because I was buying three lots off him for uh, you take 110 for the lot, the tractor, the roller, and the first spinner. Mine. That was the bucket included, even though I had said I've got one. He said it's just going to be sat here, so you can take it as part of the tractor. So I got a three bucket, a loader, tractor, roller, and a first spinner. So now let's jump into this bucket. Open that back window. And we may as well take the lot back. So we're just going to run this back to the yard now. Ah, 
uh, and then we'll take a walk back down to the truck. See what the ground temperature's like. If not, we'll go uh, doing some rolling of some pastures. I know that pasture there probably won't be rolling. And see what Dad's doing there. It's a bit of massy. Now that this means we've got two tractors worthy of uh, load of work. We go rolling in this. Why not? Can't go doing any planting, so let's go down and take a walk. Fetch a truck. So yeah, that field I know definitely will want rolling. So yeah, we'll go and roll definitely that field. Um, possibly that field as well. Take the truck back now. Who parked that tractor in the way? Yeah, that'd be me. So yeah, let's go do some rolling. I'll leave it over on why not. So how are you guys doing? Hope you're doing well. Hope you enjoyed the last episode. I'm still tinkering with the settings for these videos. Um, so if they're not perfect, please let me know. Alright, if they're not perfect, I will post them and just keep continue to upgrade them. And get it settings right. Again, so this tractor has got GPS, so...
Yep, let's just roll this pasture. Stepping on the character in it. Rolling in game is just basically another form of fertilizer. So yeah, we're just fertilizing this field or technically rolling it, so. So yeah, the uh, the 6210 I really liked as a tractor. It was just slightly too much money. This one was a lot cheaper than that 6210. So yeah, we'll get a lot more use out of this tractor than that 6210. 6210 was nice, but this is a decent tractor, nonetheless. Air temperature is perfect for planting, but the ground temperature is two degrees below what it needs to be. So next four days are meant to be rainy so I want to try and get some crop in the ground today if I can because uh, Wednesday, Thursday, Saturday are meant to be full of wet weather so hopefully I can get some crop in the ground today which will be nice and they got the tea, tea dip on the uh, dr uh, green drill ready to go. Just needs to wait for the weather to turn. Uh, yeah, so. As soon as I get some nice warm weather in the ground. Uh, the tea dip's going to be in the field. This thing will be in the field. This will be planting corn and soybeans. Thing is, for soybeans I need plus 10 degrees, so we'll see. Just overnight, it was like minus 2, I think, last night in game. So. Yeah, you're flying through this field now. Yeah. I think I'll leave that next field till Dad's finished doing what he's doing with Massey. Because I've got a bit of time before we need to fertilize.
Yay, telegraph poles. We will need to do a headland. The only thing with using the GeForce experience to record, I can't see how long I've been recording, so it's just a hit and miss type of thing, so but as soon as I finish this I'm gonna save the game and edit the two videos. Yeah, try and get one uploaded for you guys. Because if you know me, my internet's not very good. So yeah, we'll see. Then I might go play some ARC. With the CG guys. Nearly done this field. So yeah, nearly done the field, just a few bits left to do, a quarter of it left to do. Then do a headland and then I think we call it that a video.
So yeah, nearly done. Then we'll go in for some uh, late lunch. Because it's half past twelve in game now. Dinner time, I say. They've been at it since like six o'clock this morning. Well, saying that, I was at it overnight, so. Uh, we did an overnight cultivated session, so I think I deserve some food. And maybe we'll try and get some uh, crops planted for the next episode. This, hopefully this grass should give us a good yield at the first cut in uh, early summer. So yeah, we should have a nice amount of grass because what I intend to do is hopefully by mid-season we get some money in of some sort. Or start end of this season, start of next after we have uh, the um, crops are harvested, get some money and begin to get some uh, dairy cattle. That's what I want to invest in on this farm, is get it back to a dairy farm because it's got the facilities there as I said in the last video I made. Um, the facilities are there to make it a dairy which need the income and the cattle to make it into the farm. And the investment into the farm to make it that dairy farm again. Because I've got the enthusiasm to do it. So yeah, we got the land to do it, with, with the prospect of more land to come, the bigger we get, so we'll see, we'll see where things end up. Do a swipe up here because we're going to be hitting the hedge otherwise. Let's do two swipes, why not? Yeah, nearly done. Just a headland to do after these two passes.
nice little pig area there, so I might even get into some pigs in the new year. We'll see. We'll see where the tide takes us. into this field. Holy crap. Anyway guys, that's it for today. Thank you. Thanks for watching and be sure to like, comment and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. Ciao for now guys.